All right, so here's our A24 rat trap. Here's our Arlo security camera we use for monitoring the trap to see how well it's working. And when it's moist out or raining, the uh, video quality goes way down. It's hard to see anything. So we're going to make a little uh, house for it, a little roof. And my plan is to use this uh, uh, plant uh, container that I got got a little bush in that I'm not using anymore. So this is too short to go over the top without um, causing a problem. So I'm going to put these little short legs on it. So we're going to cut the cut most of this out. Uh, we'll leave the back on as kind of a back for it. But I'll leave the air holes because then some air can circulate and maybe it'll reduce some of the moisture. But we'll cut out the bottom here and then flex it out a little bit. Put these little feet on it and then it'll sit a little bit above above the camera. So the camera has a pretty wide angle so we don't want to uh, block it because we want to see animals coming off from this uh, little deck up above here. So. That's the plan is to, is to cut this, cut a section out of the bottom then flex it out and then uh, cut some slots using a hacksaw in these little uh, PVC pipes that I had lying around. So this is Schedule 40 PVC pipes. It's kind of overkill but it's, it's solid and it's, it's, it's uh, Weather is weatherproof pretty much. So things will work pretty well. We'll see how it works tonight. I have some video from yesterday or from this morning of the uh, possum, and we'll see. He'll probably come back tonight. And we can check to see if the video quality is any better. So okay, the first step we're going to use our tin snips to uh, cut the bottom of this. So we'll cut it maybe here. Use these holes. They're already in here. Cut this section out. side to the other. Okay, then we'll cut down to the end here. We'll cut the end out. Cut this section out. gloves because this as you cut this plastic it can be really uh, sharp. Definitely it's a lot worse than a paper cut. Plus this probably has lots of bacteria on it so alright right. cut that off. We're gonna want to pull these sides out a little bit so I'm going to cut through the bottom here a little bit. I'm going to uh, 180 across, so I'm going to cut it to here. Okay, now the little sides can come out. Like this. And the front is probably okay the way it is. So I'm going to cut some slots in these uh, uh, PVC pipes using the uh, hacksaw. And then I'll just sit on four though we're gonna sit on here like this and that should be high enough so that it doesn't block the camera. So next step is to cut the slots with a hacksaw. Cut the slots of the hacksaw. We just 
capture these things in our workmate here. So I won't move around. Do a couple at a time. So this plastic is very thin, so we don't need a very thick cut. It's just probably this um, the thickness of this hacksaw blade would be perfect. So hacksaws are good for cutting PVC pipe using a metal blade. I'm going to use a wood blade, use a metal blade. We'll just cut it like this. Put it down about an inch or so. And we'll test it. So this should go in like this. Yeah. So that goes in really well. So I'll cut the rest of them and then we'll put them together and we're, we're just about done. Okay, so we cut our four slots. Oh, this Assemble this. Sure. doesn't work. Okay, so we need to have some way to hold these apart. So we need to use a few more pieces of PVC pipe to make a little frame so they'll stay perpendicular to each other. It's a little bit too springy. So. Alright, so that's the next part of our project. We're almost there. Okay, so here's my solution to the floppy problem. So I got two more pieces of PVC pipe I have lying around and four elbows. And I made them like this. Now, to put it upright, let's have it like this. So that should be fine, about the right size. So we'll go ahead and put it on the camera, and then we'll take a look through the uh, app to see what it looks like with this rain, rain and dew shield above the camera. All right, so it should just fit over the camera like this. I'm going to take a look at it more closely. Okay, so this is the view from the trap, and you can see it's nicely shaded, and it should keep the dew off of it. So let's take a look at what the screen looks like, or what the camera's putting out right now using the Arlo app. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out and keep looking up.